I heard that uh, for on his wall, on James Fred's wall, that there is a public stoning painting and that it's him and he feels like when he was on the Oprah show that he uh-huh. was publicly stoned. Uh-huh. Do you guys think with A Million Little Pieces, this is a chance at redemption for him that people won't look at him in that same negative light that they were looking at him uh, over a decade ago? I think it's with the, I think it's whoever, you know, I think they got to look at themselves. I don't think it's really going to be about whether they read his book or they watch this film. I think there's definitely, it's this point in right now that's like, there's just, we're so quick to uh, judge, cancel people, you know, like you messed up and that's it. There's no room for growth or evolving or pushing through. And it's those people that really need to step back and have a little look at themselves and reflect and see if they can find a bit more compassion in their heart and a bit more forgiveness because we're all human. We're not we're not perfect. And I think that's why I enjoy acting is like to to play a character like this who's not necessarily a likable character. He's a character who's in denial. He's reluctant to change. And, and yet he's got he's broken and he's, you know, he's given up, given up on his life. And, you know, and it takes a community to put him back together again and say, hey, there's more to life than just, you know, being down here and you can work through it. Uh, and they give him space. And in that space, he grows and he finds the light and is able to have the willpower and the strength to, to, to say no to, to those addictions. Um, but, yeah, may, maybe. Maybe they'll watch it and they'll have a sense of empathy, mm. a sense of forgiveness. But there's, uh, in our culture right now, there's a lot of people who uh, are happy throwing them stones because it makes them feel better. Mm-hmm. I'll just point you, you messed up, so you know, now I feel good about myself. So. Do you feel like that's something that's happening more now so than before because of the technology, social media? Or maybe. Maybe there's just a more gl- on a global scale. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely, because we can all connect quicker across. So it's definitely the school playground mm-hmm. brought into a global scale because, you know, we all grew up with all that sort of stuff and that's how we all grew mm-hmm. as kids. I mean, that's what you learn, don't you, how to mm-hmm. sort of you say something wrong at some point. But I think also it, it's wrong. fair to say that, um, you know, the, the let's look, what's the crime, you know, with him? Especially, because the vitriol is so strong, um, and uh, and I think that uh, that really we should look at him differently now that he survived that and is still sober, and how mm-hmm. much resilience and strength that must have taken to be on a public stage with everyone mocking and throwing stones. Well, he means a great deal to a lot of people, and that book means a great deal to a lot of people. Mm. It doesn't diminish. You know, there is a controversy, but you'll find there is a group of people who that connected with, and it and it saved their lives. And they, you know, they went through rehab, and that was the book by their side. And Or they knew someone, or a brother, or a sister, or a loved one was going through it. And they read that book to have a deeper understanding. He's um, he's kind of a special person, and um, you know, and he's flawed, you know, like we all are. And that's what makes him beautiful because he's open and able to show that vulnerability. And and I hope we try to do that in the movie too.